Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to get the size of a directory of a folder in your Windows system using Excel VVA macros. And we're going to be using the file system object. We will see that in a moment. That's the object used in this other macro in the Excel file explorer to get the list of all the files and folders and subfolders inside a particular directory, a particular folder creating a tree, as you see here, with the structure underneath, and, and then you can get the total size of that directory, adding all the, adding the size for all the files in there. If you want to have the size for a particular um, folder, let's say Excel, so you would only add the size of the files for that particular folder. So I'm going to leave the link in the description, and you can download this file, and you can also see the code. But in this video, we're just going to get the size of a particular directory. And we can do that in two ways. So let me show you. Let's go to the Visual Basic Editor. And the first macro we're going to see is Get Folder Files. And that's quite similar to something we've done in a previous video. First of all, we're going to prompt a dialog to choose a particular folder. So that will be my dialog. And we can do that with either the file dialog property or the get open file name. But in this video, we're going to use the file dialog. And each function has its uh, own advantages and disadvantages. If you want to know more about it, I explained that in the video about the application object in the Excel VVA object series. I'm leaving the link up here. So with file dialog, you have four possible options here. So we're going to get um, the file picker would be to, to pick just one file or, or several files. That's what that's what we did in the previous video with get open file name. Here we're just going to select the dialog folder picker because you, we just want to select a folder, a directory. And by the way, that's declared um, as a file dialog, as you see here. So if my dialog.show equals minus one, so that means we selected something and we click OK. Then we get my folder is my dialog select items one. So there's going to be only one item, one folder. And by the way, I missed here the G, my dialog. And then we're going to add the application path separator and this is nothing else this is the same as if we would write this one and then we say my file equals there and we're using the vva there function for my folder and everything every we want to have all the files in that folder and now we can loop so we're gonna use a do loop while my file is different than nothing and uh, you will see initially is, of course, if we select something, there's, it's not going to be empty, but then we're going to, at the end of the loop, we're going to move to the next file and the next file, and it will loop for as long as, we, as, as there are files. So if we select a folder with five files, it will loop five times. And each time, let's say we're going to increment R by one, and we're going to write in range ar the the file name and in column b we will have the the file size of my folder actually this needs to be my folder and my file the file and vva function works with the whole path so it should be a full folder and file and then my file equals there it's going to get the next file in the directory here we can loop and then end the if statement so if we run this macro we can select a directory and i'm here in in excel folder so this is 2020 files excel folder and excel macro business and I'm going to select this folder 9, the directory file size explorer. That's where I have all the files and macros for that 
that one I showed you earlier. So I'm going to select this one. We only need to select the folder, not the files. And then here, as you see, we are getting all the files. We have eight files in this directory. So we have some pictures, and then we have some Word files, and also some Excel files. And then here we get the size in bytes. So we could just add these together, and we would get the size of that directory, right? So which is around 836 kilobytes. But that's not the real size of the directory because the directory or the folder may have some other subfolders with files and that's not contemplated here. So for example, if I go to that specific folder uh, and this is the one, yeah, and I create another folder here, let's call it new folder. And then I add some files. Let's, I'm going to just copy these files here. So now we have the eight files that we've seen before, plus another subfolder with three files. If we run the macro again now, and we select that directory, we actually get the same information. We just get the files. We don't get anything about this other folder. So that's not the size of the folder anymore. It's just the size of all the files in that folder, not the other subfolders. So in order to get the total size of that directory, including other folders and subfolders, we need to use the file system object. So let's go back to the Visual Basic editor and I'm going to add here another module. And this one will be get folder size before we were getting the size of the files in that folder. And now we will get the total size. In, in some cases, it's going to be the same if we only have files in that folder. And to use the file system object, we need to add the Microsoft Scripting Runtime Library to the references up here on the Tools, References. And then Microsoft Scripting Runtime. We click OK. And now we can declare my file system for example, as a file system object. Here we got it. Then we create the object. My file system equals create object scripting file system object. And now we're going to show the same dialog we've used before. So let me go back here and copy that actually. So the set dialog, right? We're gonna we're gonna show a dialog to pick a folder, and if we select the folder, so if my dialog show equals minus one, then then we set my path or before we use my folder, but now I'm gonna use my path equals my dialog dot selected items one and we don't need to add the, the path separator now. And then we're going to set my folder. So my folder now is going to be an object. And is my file system dot get folder of my path. And by the way, I realize I missed here an M, my file system. And finally, we get the size of the folder, and let's put it in a message box with my folder dot size. Here we can end the if statement. And I also missed here another letter. So now, before I run this macro, I'm going to go back to the directory, and I'm going to delete that one for now. So we, we start with these eight files that we've seen earlier. If I run the macro now, we well, it prompts the, the dialog to pick the folder. I'm going to pick the same folder that we've used earlier. And as you see, the size is the same, right? So because we only have files in that folder, we don't have anything else. But now if we go back to that folder and we add a new folder as we did earlier, yeah? New folder and I copy here some files.
and we go back to Excel and run this second macro. Pick the same folder. As you see now, it's different, right? So now we have one, so that's 1 1.35 megabytes. It's more because it's taking into account this new folder that we've added. And if we have more folders, let's say inside this one, we have uh, yet another folder. And we also have some files. Let me copy, for example, this in this other folder. We run that macro again, and now uh, we pick the main directory, the main folder, and we get now even uh, even more. So now it's 1.84 megabytes. And by the way, I'm saying megabytes, and I would probably be saying mega, maybe bytes. Um, not sure if you are aware of the difference between kilobytes and kibibytes. Um, so in IT, a, a kilobyte, it was usually 1,024 bytes, but actually, in, in the real world, a kilobyte, like a kilo, kilogram, kilometer, is 1,000 bytes. So this is measured in a bit of a different way in IT, and that's why there are some terms uh, for that, which is actually kibibyte, may, maybe byte, and so on. If you're not aware about that, let me know in the comments, and I will show you in another video. But um, what we see here is that using the file system object, we can get the total size of a directory. And we can actually do many other things. We can also get the total size of your of your hard drive or the available size. We can also create new folders or delete folders, move folders or files, and many other things with the file system object. So that's how we get the size of a directory in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.